Club my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Smell and Mishy. Today I was gonna share a clean girl makeup look with you guys, but it's actually really like kind of down mood. I do struggle with low mood in general, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and it really does affect my workflow on my channel. But I feel like one of the things that I did pick up from my CBT sessions last year is realizing that it's okay to feel down and like know that like your mood is not the best that it could be but at the same time kind of like coming to terms with those feelings and not letting it completely define the kind of day you have so i have hyped myself up to still do the makeup look that i want to do still go through with plans that i plan for myself today because i feel like when i am productive it really helps with my mood so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today um got my contacts in let's go oh, quick skin update when i say my skin has been flaring up i think it's just the british weather one day you think it's gonna be warm and then the next moment it's raining. So I've actually been using a cream that my dermatologist recommends me. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for like your natural skincare, like clean beauty. But sometimes you just need like a medicated punch to get to get ish back in order, right? So this is Pro Topic. I've probably been using it for the last eight months. It's a non-steroid cream that makes your flare-up disappear in two days. It's an immunosuppressant cream, so it basically just reduces the amount of inflammation to the area. I would definitely say if you have eczema prone skin and you do get like, you know, those patches where you get your flare-ups, ask your dermatologist about this, see if you will be like a good candidate for this type of medication. I know it's not the usual kind of skincare that I recommend on my channel, but where something's been so reliable in my skincare routine, I need to share it with you guys. So um, defo, check this out. If that's on my Instagram, you'd know a while ago I picked up this cream, Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream from Ren Skincare. From GK Maxx, I think it was like £24. Usually retails for, I wanna say, 35 I might be chatting crap. Um, this cream is freaking amazing. Like, it keeps my skin hydrated all day. I know it says it's a night cream, it's a sleeping cream, but I wear this during the day. I don't care, I make my own. Can you see how empty this is? This is my second jar, and I already have a third on standby, because Lord knows I cannot run out of this stuff. And I guess the team at Ren must have seen that I posted it, and really kind of gifted me even more of the skincare, which genuinely, this is not a sponsored video, but I just want to share with you guys, because having sensitive eczema prone skin it's so difficult to find products at work i just like have fear all the time that my skin's just going to react to a new product but i can say for sure i've been really enjoying their skincare i would definitely recommend if you guys have sensitive eczema dry prone skin to try these out forget their day cream the day cream i don't enjoy as much but i think that's probably better if you've got oily skin but the night cream my dry skin honey girls okay skincare aside uh let's get into the space so i'm gonna prep my skin fenty beauty pro filter soft silk the hydrating one you do not have to buy this primer though by all means i actually tried this hydrating primer through kink the mea it's like the dupe of the milk hydro grip i think but it felt amazing like honestly i'm just gonna go in with a kind of neutralizing concealer so this is nars cream concealer radiant cream concealer in cacao Next, I'm actually gonna use a new setting spray. This is by 17, just to kind of prep my skin and make everything that goes on top just look very skin-like-esque, so. I'm gonna be mixing two products. I just find that these two give like the perfect amount of coverage, perfect color, perfect consistency, perfect finish, and it's not too cakey, not too heavy. So Fenty Beauty E-Drop in the shade 21, and then I'm also mixing the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Namibia. I feel like this is a really good match for me right now. Then we break. 
Okay, so next we're gonna highlight and conceal. This is by e.l.f. This is the Hydro Camo Concealer. Love this stuff. It's literally, I wanna say four pounds or six pounds. Very affordable and literally does what it needs to do. And I'm also gonna use Nars's Cream Concealer in Among the and then I'm gonna contour with Fenty Beauty's Matchstick in Espresso. I feel like I should probably get the darker shade now because actually no, it's still showing up. I take that back. I take that back. <laughs> Just the light contour. Nothing major. <laughs> coming together okay cool mm, at this stage we do eyebrows this is a four should have a five all right i'm gonna go through the five just to like define and then i'm gonna go in with a four and just add a bit more i'm just gonna go in with a bit of brow gel i kind of invited back to the benefit to put our brow setter but i'm kind of i want to try the anastasia one i just haven't picked it up yet because that one kind of looks more like the brows that i want to achieve but, but the benefit one is still a staple product nonetheless so everyone's been mixing blushes and today i've again got another high-end and drugstore brand so this is by rare beauty this is the shade love and this is the shade deep pink by 17. this is actually really good but you just need to know how to use it so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna place the product on the back of my hand here just so i can control it a little bit more you get me and then i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush because i don't care and just pack on the color where i want it to go going with i'm gonna go with the bum of the beauty blender I just feel like this will be easier to blend. So sorry, this is love first. I'm putting love on my cheeks. Oh, I love this color so much. The name is so fitting. It's so, such a gorgeous color. And I feel like this will suit so many complexions as well. But definitely if you've got darker skin, this is gonna give you the color payoff that you need. Oh, so gorgeous. So beautiful. I actually take it all the way up to my lid area. I just. I really like the way it looks. I know that's a very kind of euphoria thing to do, but I feel like it makes the blush look a lot more kind of seamless. I don't know. Gives you more of a sun-kissed look. That's it. Just adds that slight bit of dimension to the blush. Coolios, let's do a simple, a simple lid look. I'm gonna go in with Predit. This is a perfect chocolate nude for that girl. So I'm just gonna really gently go in like that not too much but just to give it a little bit of shape just to open up the eyes a little bit we're going to use the mac studio chromographic pencil crayon multi-usage in uh nw35 just on the bottom just gives you a little bit more of an awake look set my under eye in place and probably the middle of my nose as well because that does get shiny um gonna set everything in place so let's use the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray yes this is worth the hype okay i'm gonna do neva tang's um lip liner in collaboration with dose of colors i believe um i did a whole video on that a while back so if you guys want to watch that i will link it here. And then I'm gonna go around with Morphe's Trendsetter just to warm up the liner a little bit. And I kind of go across the whole of my top lip with this one. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and the color London. <laughs> just in the middle of my lips here. And then I'm gonna go on top with the 17 Lacquer Gloss. This is in the color coral. Love this color, it's actually so pretty. One thing I don't like is the applicator though, but the product, the product does it for me, so it's okay. And then I'm gonna go on top with the dewy prep setting spray as well. Ooh, actually tastes good. I should have done this before, but I'm actually gonna add a little bit of bronzer just to, tie everything together a little bit more 
I am looking very, very saucy if I could say so myself. This is my take on the Clean Girl makeup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to show me love on the channel as per usual, and I will see you in the next video.